on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus the Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her daughters and sons scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. May the light of Christ, risen in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Oh, 
of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. The power of this holy night dispels all evils, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. Night truly blessed, when heaven is wedded to earth, and man is reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, may it always dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star, which never sets, find this flame still burning. Christ, the morning star, who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind. Your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people, and in these days, the last days, has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Exodus, of Genesis. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. God said, Let us make men in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, and the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants, that are upon the whole earth, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send, Send forth, forth your, your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. Send, Send forth, forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You founded the earth on its base, to stand firm from age to age, to wrap it with the ocean like a cloak, the water stood higher than the mountains. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, I renew the face of the earth. You make the springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven, 
From the branches they sing their song. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth brings its full of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord, my soul. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvellous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me so? Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and part it for the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of Pharaoh, of all his army, his chariots, his horsemen. And when I have won glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptians will learn that I am the Lord. Then the angel of God, who marched at the front of the army of Israel, changed station and moved to their prayer. The pillar of cloud changed station from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. The cloud was dark and the night passed without the armies drawing any closer the whole night long. Moses stretched out his hands over the sea. The Lord drove back the sea with a strong eastern wind all night, and he made dry land of the sea. The waters parted, and the sons of Israel went on dry ground right into the sea, walls of water to the right and to the left of them. The Egyptians gave chase. After them they went right into the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of fire and of cloud, and threw the army into confusion. He so clogged their chariot wheels that they could scarcely make headway. Let us flee from the Israelites, the Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hand over the sea, the Lord said to Moses, that the waters may flow back on the Egyptians and their chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as they broke, the sea returned to its bed. The fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the very middle of the sea. The retaining waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left, but the sons of Israel 
that marched through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to the right and to left of them. That day, the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians, and the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song in honor of the Lord. I will sing to the Lord glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him. My Father's God, I give him praise. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. The flower of his army is drowned in the sea. The depths hide them, they sank like a stone. I will, I will sing, sing to the Lord, Lord glorious in his triumph. Your right hand, Lord, glorious in his power. Your right hand, Lord, has shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crushed the foe. I will sing to the Lord, glorious in his triumph. You will lead your people and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. I will, I will sing, sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of wonders worked in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred fund, and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people. Grant, we pray, that all nations, obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith, may be reborn by partaking of your Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The words of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, the members of the house of Israel give to live in their own land. But they defy it by their conduct and actions. I then discharge my fury at them because of the blood they shed in their land and the idols with which they defy it. I scatter them among the nations and disperse them in foreign countries. I sentence them as their conduct an action deserved, and now they have profaned my holy name among the nations where they have gone, so that people say of them, These are the people of the Lord, they have been exiled from his land. But I have been concerned about my holy name, which the house of Israel has profaned among the nations where they have gone. And so say to the house of Israel, the Lord said this, I am not doing this for your sake, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you have gone. I mean to display the holiness of my grace name, which has been profaned among the nations which you have profaned among them. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord, it is the Lord who speaks, when I display my holiness for your sake before their eyes. Then I am going to take you from among the nations and gather you together from all 
the foreign country and bring you home to your own land. I shall pour clean water over you and you will be cleansed. I shall cleanse you of all your defilement and all your idols. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I shall remove the heart of stone from your body and give you a heart of flesh instead. I shall put my spirit in you and make you keep my laws and sincerely respect my observances. You will live in the land which I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I could lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the tongue wide with joy. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let peace be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is ready for you, my God. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy, my Redeemer. I will thank you on behalf. O oh God, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is ready for you, my God. Let us pray. O God, who by the pages of both testaments instruct and prepare us to celebrate the Paschal mystery, grant that we may comprehend your mercy so that the gifts we receive from you this night may confirm our hope of the gifts to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. In other words, 
When we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a Christian dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once for all to sin, so his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. After the Sabbath, and towards dawn the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala and the other Mary went to visit the sepulchre. And all at once there was a violent earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came and rolled away the stone, and sat on it. His face was like lightning, his robe white as snow. The guards were so shaken, so frightened of him, that they were like dead men. But the angel spoke, and he said to the women, there is no need for you to be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, but he has risen, as he said he would. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead, and now he is going before you to Galilee. It is there that you will see him. Now I have told you, filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there coming to meet them was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him and falling down before him, clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will, meet, they will see me there. And this this is the Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. been so rich and full of meaning and full of so many lovely, wonderful things, giving us time to pause for a moment and to wonder at the marvel of the news, certainly the news of many, many centuries ago, when Jesus, according to his promise, rose from the dead, but more than that, he rose to stay. And he stayed, and he stays with us. And as we walk through the dusty roads of life, he is with us. As we search for meaning and purpose, he is with us. He is our Lord, he is our Master, but most of all, he is our companion along the way. We can think of the women who came to the tomb to bind him up in ointment and give him a decent burial and suddenly they found that he was alive and then they ran away and lo and behold they met him along the way. And this is the way we meet Jesus. We meet him along the way, along the way of our daily lives. We meet him in times of trouble. We meet him in times of joy. We meet him in those quiet moments. And so it is that it is the most glorious of all evenings, this holiest of nights. He came to be with us as a companion, but only with one purpose, to teach us how to love, to teach us how to love as he loved, quietly, carefully, tenderly, and with great forgiveness. And it is that our hearts are filled, are filled with gratitude, of course, but most of all, filled with the great pleasure of knowing that no matter what lies ahead, we will not face it alone, but we will face it with Jesus, with his Father, filled with the Spirit. He comes to us giving himself to us as the gift on this Easter night to walk with him into eternity. This night of the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus stands before each one of us with this single message with this plea, if you want to know who I am, if you want to know how to love me, if you want to know who you are, if you want to know what life is all about, you must become my child. We are a people of the resurrection. We belong to the risen Lord. We are his children.
Through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observancy is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. And now we offer our prayers to our Father with Easter joy. We pray for the Church as it heralds the gospel of life throughout the world. May the Spirit of Christ prepare every heart to receive the good news. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious hear us. Yes. Let us pray for all the baptized. May our participation in Christ's Paschal Mystery inspire us to live more reverently. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious hear us. Yes. We pray for those who are so far from the peace of the risen Christ. May the Spirit stir in their hearts, may the Spirit stir in the hearts of enemies a desire for harmony and friendship. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious hear us. Hear us. Let us pray for those who have died in the joyful hope of eternal life. May they be found rejoicing in the reign of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious hear us. Hear us. In the silence of this night, we offer our personal prayers and petitions. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear us. Hear us. Loving God, may our gathering at this table of unity fill us with longing for the feast of heaven. We ask that you receive our prayers in the name of the risen Saviour, Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed 
Pray now that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Yes, Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, loving Father, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to God, unite and govern it throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Stephen our Bishop, and Sylvester his auxiliary bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph as spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits, prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus the Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it.
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save it of our own. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my life. For I will say the word, and my soul shall be. prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Pour up on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and in heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. I wish to express my gratitude towards all those who have contributed to making our liturgical celebrations so solemn over these days. Firstly, I want to thank Michael Noon, Simon Lords and Colin Mayer, who worked in the background operating the technology in order to make it possible for us to broadcast the masses and the services into the homes of our parishioners. We say thank you to them. I also wish to thank my Salesian community who have assisted very well in the preparation of the liturgies of these days. And I want to thank them by name. Father Peter, our Vice Rector and Assistant Parish Priest of St. John Bosco in Westridge. We say thank you. And Father Eddie, our Bursar, and parish priests of Westridge St. John Bosco. 
Thank you, Father Eddie. We thank Father Christopher, the assistant parish priest of Our Lady Help of Christians here in Lansdowne. Thank you, Chris. And we thank Father Tumelo, the assistant parish priest of Our Lady of the Rosary in Hanover Park and overall pastoral assistant to the community. Thank you. And lastly, but not least, we have to thank our elder, our senior man, Father Barter, who even though going on and reaching 80 very soon, one of these days, is as still as strong as an ox. Father Bart is among us as a senior man, always ready to guide and to be a mentor, to give advice. Sadly, we don't often follow his advice, but he's always ready to give advice. And he tries as best as he can to keep us youngsters in line when we want to perform. We say thank you very much to Father Bard for being here with us and helping with the celebration of these services and masses. And lastly, it falls to me, dear friends, to wish all of you, on behalf of my Salesian community here in Lansdowne, a very happy and holy Easter. May the risen Christ take root in your hearts and in your families celebrate the resurrection of the Lord and while celebrating be charitable and remember those who are less fortunate than ourselves and maintaining all directives put in place perhaps being safe we can share a little from our table with those who have not please stand for the blessing so far. I will clarify for the Donald Family Director and the Parish Priest of Hanover Park. Thank you. Thank you for that. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for the blessing. May Almighty God bless us through today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend us from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores us to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow us with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may we who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.